In this episode of Derp Star, I added an energy shield that can be toggled with the spacebar. It deflects the projectiles from the shooting stars and deals damage to them instead of the player. So first, I'll disable the boss uh, and change the bumper spawner to only spawn shooting stars for testing. Okay, then we'll make a new kinematic body 2D and I'll add the energy shield that I made in GIMP. So we'll center that on the origin and then I'll add a collision shape as a circle and probably about there. Okay, so this is the energy shield. Okay. I'm going to put this on the third collision layer a mask as well. And then in the bumper ships so I have this laser scene, and I'll make it mask on layer 3 as well. Oh, and I'll add the energy shield to the player shield class, or group, like that. Okay. And then on the derp star, I will add this at the bottom so the thrusters uh, kind of poke through it. And then, so this should deflect the bullets, hopefully. Yes, some of them. It looks like you're still going through, but for the most part, they're bouncing off. So that's good. All right. So now in the laser script, I'll add a source and it'll be bumper for now. But, so on laser body entered, we'll say if the body is in the player shield group, did I capitalize it? I think I did, yeah. Then we will set the source to equal player. Okay. So if body is in group player and source equals bumper, then we'll deal damage to the player. else if it's in the player shield, set the source to player. Otherwise, so this will be if it hits another bumper. Um, else if source equals player, then the bumper will take damage.
and cue the, free the queue. Why? Oh, Elif. Okay. So this should deal damage to the bumpers now. Yeah, it looks like they are taking damage from it. That's pretty cool. Okay. Now I'll attach a script and add the enable and disable flags or functions so we'll show it and enable the collision shape disable equals false and then the disable function which will hide and set the collision to true. Okay. <clears throat> then in the project settings, I'll map a new key. So I'll use the spacebar. Um, Okay, now, oh, and on ready, we'll disable the shield. Okay, then in the derp star, On the input event, if is action pressed energy shield, then we'll, yeah, <clears throat> then we'll enable it. And when the spacebar is released, then we will disable it. Okay, so that might work. So it's off, now it's on. So it seems to be reflecting, and then when we turn it off, now we're taking damage from the, the bolts. Okay, that seems to work. Okay, and the last thing that I wanted to do um, so I want it to use energy to block the actual projectile. So in the laser, if um, we'll say, so this will be the shield will take the damage instead of the player. Okay. And I'll go ahead and make a new variable for damage 
probably make that an export variable, but uh, maybe not actually. Okay. So then we need to add take damage to the energy shield. And then this will have to emit the reduce yeah so we'll make a signal to reduce energy and then we'll say emit signal reduce energy by amount okay and then on the derp star decrease okay change that And then we'll just connect the energy shield to the derp star. Like that. Okay. So now if we put up the shield, I can see now it's taking damage to the uh, energy bar instead of the health bar, which is pretty cool. Now I want the energy shield to, uh, so we'll add the energy cost, which is per second, and we'll set it to five. So this will just negate the energy region that I have. It won't actually lower the bar, but you won't be able to regenerate energy while it's on. So then in the process, we will emit signal, decrease energy, and then we'll do energy cost times delta, and then in the enable, we'll set process to true, and in disable, we'll set process to false. Okay, so now if I put the shield on, You can see that it's no longer regenerating, but if I take it off, now the bar starts to go back up. So now I'll set the energy down to 100 so I can test when it runs out. Then in the derp star, on energy shield activate, we'll need to make a check, uh, make sure the energy is not locked. And then on the lock energy, we'll say energy shield dot disable as well. So now, once it gets down to zero, it should lock. Hmm. And now I can't use the shield until it unlocks. All right.